Good morning. You're watching Fox and Friends first. I think given all we have heard and seen, he would not have been my pastor. All right, that was Hillary Clinton bringing up controversial remarks made by Barack Obama's uh, religious advisor, Jeremiah Wright. Why did she wait so long to weigh in on the story? Well, Bernard Whitman has worked on campaigns with both Bill and Hillary Clinton. He's also a Democratic strategist and a pollster. Bernard, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you, Allison. She brought it up for the first time, I believe, yesterday. And it seemed like a diversionary tactic because she was trying to deflect attention away from the fact that she misremembered her visit to Bosnia in 1996. Now that she's bringing up the controversial pastor, Jeremiah Wright, is this the right time to do it, or does it seem transparent? Well, I think that she was correct in staying out of the fray because there was enough uh, sharks circling that, that blood in the water. But the truth is she was asked a direct question about what she would do, and she answered it. And Hillary has been accused in the past of not being uh, forthright on certain subjects, so I think for her to dodge that would have been at that point someone irresponsible. But she's been accused of not being forthright about subjects pertaining to herself, for instance, you know, records not being released and such. Couldn't she just have said, you know what, I'm not going to weigh in on Barack Obama's relationship with his pastor? Well, I think she answered the question from uh, a, a personal matter. She was basically asked, what would you do? And she simply said, that's not a church that I would have attended. I think it was a fairly um, neutral type of, of response. How big of a deal is it, Bernard, the fact that she clearly didn't remember exactly how her arrival in Bosnia happened in 1996, and in fact, it seems as though she embellished the danger of it. Well, look, I think it's a much ado about nothing. The truth of the matter is, we all have a hard time remembering certain details. I, for one, sometimes can't remember what I had for breakfast in the morning, and I think the right, truth is... Right, but this is, is more than not remembering. She but, remembered details that didn't exist. But honestly, I think this is much ado about nothing and the reason is this we have serious issues that we have to deal with this in this country how are we going to get out of iraq how are we going to solve these economic problems how are we going to deliver health care to the american people and i think to spend an over amount of time discussing a detail that happened twelve years ago it, it is a little insulting to the American okay, people. Okay, very, very quickly, I just want to move on to what's upcoming in the next few weeks. Now that Florida and Michigan will not be counted, even if Hillary wins Pennsylvania, it still doesn't look good for her. Uh, it's going to be a very tough road. And the, and, and the fact is, neither Hillary or Obama is going to have enough pledged delegates at the end of this to put them over the top. So it ultimately is going to come down to the superdelegates and their assessment of who has the best chance of winning in November. All right, Bernard Whitman, former Clinton pollster, Democratic strategist, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Allison. I appreciate right. it.